Hi everyone, this is Trish Kendall with Choose and Become. Welcome to my February newsletter. This month I'm sharing a blog that I wrote on creating and nurturing belonging. You know, when I um, facilitate workshops, we get into discussion about belonging. And I get to hear from participants, team members, sometimes they know each other, sometimes these folks don't know each other, maybe they're cross-functional teams, but they get to discuss how it feels to belong. And I hear everything from powerful to special to I have a seat at the table, I could be my authentic self, happy, joyful. And we also discuss how it feels to not belong. And every single person, I don't care what role they're in, how old they are, or what their background is, every single person has experienced what it feels like to not belong. And I hear everything from scattered, scared, out of place, like I don't know where to be, I don't know where to sit, uh, frustrated, awkward, hopeless. I think, or I believe that each of us knows how it feels to belong. And we each have experienced at some point how it feels to not belong. And I think there is power in being cognizant and aware of that feeling so that we can take small actions, make small choices, to create and nurture belonging for ourselves and for people around us, whether that's at work or at home or at school or with a teammate, whatever it might be. And I also, in these workshops, ask a final question around belonging. I ask each person to write down on a piece of paper. And I'm gonna ask you to do this right now. Write down on a piece of paper the name of somebody in your life who you think, you feel, this person might not feel like they belong. I don't know who people write down on their paper. It could be themselves. But write down a name. And then write down one thing that you can do, one small thing that you can do to help this person feel like they belong. So uh, thanks for always joining me. I appreciate all the comments and feedback and everything that this community gives me along my journey in sharing because it continues to nurture my sense of belonging uh, in the world. Have an amazing February. Hopefully the next time in March, my scenery will be a little bit more springy. I don't know. Thanks everyone. And remember, you can choose and become.